He's not getting up, guys. He's not getting up. That is the knockout of the year, if nothing else. And he lands a left oh, and, and now Jefferson wobbles again. Can Jefferson come back? Can he stay on his feet? I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. As I said, he tied Maurice's left hook. Watch Maurice's yep. left hook come back. Because he knew Maurice was straight up throwing the left hook, and there it was. And he was hurt, Jefferson. Yeah, he was hurt. He was hurt. Good he night, Maurice. Jefferson is a power puncher. And that left hook is a weapon. A big weapon. And I think. When Green blinked, I think that was the wealth under his eye coming up, I think. Massive left hook. I don't think he's going to get up. Ian John Lewis counts him out already. And Kessler, with a one-punch finish in the fourth, is back on top. Here's what did it, folks. Need a chance to see it in slow-mo again. Wow. No getting up, no coming back from that. He really turned his body into that shot, didn't he? Perfect, perfect left hook. Oh, cracking shot. He's open for the... With Gambo doing the interview that we saw before the fight, where he said, well, I took the fight on quick notice too, you know. Hey, he got time to prepare physically for this. Oh! Think it did not. Wow! Gambo! Huge right hand. And on the inside is Sega's looking to grab. And as we talked about... Bamboa finds distance, creates room, left hook to the body, right hand upstairs. Watch how the left hook to the body sets it up. Now watch, left hook to the body, left hook up top, and the right hand finds a clean alleyway. And again, Joe, that came when Sega was trying to grab. Sega's trying to grab, Balboa keeps the offensive flow going, and he puts Sega down and out. Great left hook there by Trinidad, followed by a right. Blocker in trouble again. Blocker in big trouble now. Here comes the kid. Trinidad looking to finish. Blocker off. Oh, what a right hand by Trinidad. Low punches by Blocker. Three low punches. There's no quit in Blocker, though. He's throwing. He knows he's in trouble. He knows it's, it's almost over, and he is trying. Liberty left, and down goes Blocker. And when they fall face down, they don't get up, Bobby. You don't have to count. You don't have to count. It is all over. Yeah, well, later in the round, you have, you know, have a young man who's aggressive. Adrenaline's up. He's fighting well. He's not getting hit back. He's on the onslaught, and Blocker just cannot sustain this attack. It's something that's it's incredible. He's just gotten old in a day, as we've said, and it's a shame, but out with the old and in with the new sometimes. Seeing him go down, seeing him exhausted. And there's no snap in anything. I think he's back with a beautiful right hand. What training Matthew Macklin has done. Hats off to Billy Graham, Kerry Kays and the team. Oh, that could be Curtis. He won't get up from that. Tenth round, Macklin's out. Fight's over. No celebration for Jamie Moore because the doctors will need to come in. That's the respect between them. And at the end of the war, it is Jamie Moore that comes through a quite phenomenal battle. Uh, Matthew Macklin. It was totally drained. He had nothing left. And that was part of the reason why he That's ended up in that situation. See. It wasn't a nice down, thing man. to see. It was it was it was a thudding shot. The, Jamie Moore's shots were very, very strong all the way through the fight. But when you're a fatigued, tired fighter, that's giving you all physically and mentally, and you get hit with a shot like that, there's no coming back. Taylor needs a knockout. There it is, it was the right hand. A quick bullet right hand, set up by a wide left hook. And the right was right down the middle. Taylor's been keeping his gloves up, but that was between the gloves. 
right on the button. Jermaine Taylor's eyes were closed before he hit the canvas. Same position he was in round five against Spinks. A clubbing right hand by Foreman. Now let's see if he's learned anything about how to survive, because he's got a minute and eight seconds left. Oh, and that's it. And I don't think, hey, this fight's over. This fight's over. George Foreman blows away Jerry Cooney in the second round. This is the finish of the fight, and Jerry Cooney really, for all intents oh, and purposes, man. the left uppercut, there's the right, it's all over. You know, George Foreman throws a lot of unorthodox punches. That time he threw an uppercut, he got out over his lead foot, and he threw a perfect uppercut, well, walking it, in with it. Yeah, keep in mind, Alex, it's against a man who's really out on his feet. I mean, Jerry Cooney showed a lot of gameness in just trying to continue. Again, George comes in for the kill. But the thing I was impressed about, Dan, was the accuracy of Foreman. become like fathers to their fighters. He says, I don't have to become nothing. I already am his father. Oh, my. Oh. Big right hand by Roy Jones. That will, that will finish it. Just forget about it. Art Serrano got hit with an overhand right that puts him out, and I mean puts him out. It's a lead right. No, it, it, a small jab as a range finder went in before it. And Art Serrano, who told me today he thought he would score the knockout, in this case, he is the one who ends up getting knocked out. And I mean much earlier than some people thought that it would happen. Boy, oh boy, he got nailed with an overhand, right? Both throwing shots, but Buckman seemed to get there first. Oh, oh terrific shot. shot! That is a great punch! And I don't think Buckman's going to get up. He's out cold. That is a cracking shot. The right uppercut was an absolute peach. You could go a long way before you saw one better than that. We've all watched great fights over the years. Great fighters like Manny Pacquiao, Marquez. Well, that was Stephen Smith. Walk it, walk it, walk it. Yeah, I'm gonna be a whore. That'll hold Good left hand, oh. and down goes right. Williams. Thank you the right hand. Right hand, Williams to the left, Williams down. He's not getting up, guys. He's not getting up. That is the knockout of the year, if nothing else. Hey, we're gonna take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with the left. Shorter punch, yeah, I thought it was a right hook. Shorter, shorter punch. And you know, this is what's so strange about boxing and so great about boxing. Williams was fighting the perfect fight, doing everything right. And just one punch out of nowhere changed the whole result. He never saw the punch. Martinez's left got there first. And Williams was out from the moment the punch hit him.